Drinking overpriced swill and talking about their clothes. May I help you? This is Ermenrix. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than with his head. Loghain? What does my brother have to do with him? Captured by whom? I thank you for bringing me this news. If you will be so kind as to tell me where he is... A dungeon? What? No. Take this with my thanks. It has been in my family since the War of Crowns. Whoever you are, I... My son described you in great detail. He tells me that I owe you his life. When I saw my poor boy's legs. I only wish how still live that I might tear him apart myself. I would bring troops against his son. But Oswin tells me Thomas had no part in his father's depravity. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I'm taking my supper today with Ban Reginalda of the White River Banorn. I'll speak with her about this at once. Dwarven crafts, direct from Orzammar. There you are. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the age. What exactly happened there? Make her forgive me. We must end the civil war quickly. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Men are the work of our maker's hat. From the lowest place. Strange that my oh my pardon. Just thinking aloud. I am Sister Justine. 
<laughs> and pride again. Of course. Those who bring ham. The maker does not bread sinners. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet. Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? Where is the famous steadfastness of the dwarves? <laughs> How much did it cost the Empress to buy your loyalty? There are enough refugees in my Benorn now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orlais? The Blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight. Yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, and we really expect them to simply return from whence they came. The Warden speaks truly. My son was taken under cover of night. The things done to him... Some of them are beyond any healer's skill. How was responsible for himself. He will answer to the Maker for any wrongs committed in this life, as must we all. But you know that. You were the one who murdered him. Whatever How may have done, he should have been brought before the Seneschal. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. I assure you, Warden, if I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. 
I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. He says you snatched a blood mage from the Chantry's justice. Coincidence? Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense against the Maker. Whatever I have done, I will answer for later. At the moment, however, I wish to know what this Warden has done with my daughter. You took my daughter, our queen, by force, killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdale. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Caelan's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed, if not for this Grey Warden. So, the Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Enora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies, our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. When we first met at Ostagar, I would never have thought so. But Ostagar seems like it happened in another lifetime to someone else. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. <coughs> Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough! Let the Landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. Estimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kalen, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. 
There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. Wait, there is another option. Batean is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. What does loyalty matter? We are what we are. The joining binds us to the Darkspawn. You know this. If you were to forswear your oath and flee today, you'd find yourself in the deep roads or the blight lands given time. You'd seek them out, or they'd seek you. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not. Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you. How can we simply forget that? You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora, hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No. When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? So much for our plan to rule together. If Alistair would rather not have the throne, I am more than willing to take it. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Anora. Warden, will you help us? As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead for Elder? We do. I believe this is what King Merrick wanted. To see his blood tied to my father's to begin a new line of Ferelden kings. But I... I mean... I, I did swear a no. What I mean is I'm... I'm all for founding a new line of kings. But... Well, there's the blight. What the king is trying to say, my lords and ladies, is that he will be taking the field with his fellow Grey Warden to do battle with the Archdemon. Uh, yes. That. Until then, I shall stay in Denerim and rule in my husband's absence, as I did for Caelan. But I trust Alistair shall reach a more heroic ending. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Everyone, get ready to march. It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! Ferelden is depending on you all. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Congratulations. Congratulations? Why would you do this to me? How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I knew that Arlima wanted this for me, but I never did. I thought for sure that there would be a way out of it. But then you went and put me on the throne yourself. Why? Yes, well, no. She would have executed me, so that would have been bad. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? 
I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? You're the one who got me into this mess. And besides, where else would you go? We're a team. Well, that option isn't really open to me anymore, is it? I'm going to be king whether I like it or not. Grey Warden or no. And if I can be an exception, then so can you. As a matter of fact, I insist. That's good enough for me. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right?